They say it took them 180 years to learn how to do all of this, but they lying real bad, kind of. This one's real. You can do a kitchen scrap garden with your celery. Um, you can definitely cut it a little smaller, put it in a pot, let it get some roots, grow it outside, make sure you check what your seasonality is. This one, I don't know why these hands are looking like this, but that's not real. You can actually eat that whole stem of the broccoli, though, but it's not going to, I don't think it'll grow anymore broccoli this you can do with a pineapple but the thing is those roots don't look like that with a pineapple when you do it but it takes like a long time unless you're in like hawaii or a similar climate to get an actual ripe pineapple but y'all don't see how these hands are looking like y'all don't see how this is moving like an alien or something like an animorph um that's real you can do that with just scallions um just you know um why are they i don't know this, I feel like they have to have spores. Me and some people have talked about this before. But I feel like you need spores in, on that fruiting body to get more of those mushrooms. And sometimes it can be more trouble than it's worth to do it in home. Um, you can cut way more of that onion than they cut here. Because that's wasteful. Y'all see how they waste the food? The carrots are beautiful, but you only want to get the carrot tops. Um, so you're going to be as excited as if you were getting like carrot top in your house to give you like one of those comedic things he used to do. Y'all remember him, carrot top? He was hilarious. I used to love